Hey guys, um, yeah, Usu, what's up guys, Jake Xiao here, but I think Noitoshi Kamo might be dead, yeah. And the way I came up with the conclusion is, when you really think about it, look to when he was fighting against Hanami, he got hit in the head and was like knocked out forever, right? That like this guy was completely knocked out, nothing they could do about it, it was GG's. If you really look at him in this panel, he just got obliterated, like, I don't think he's gonna be able to come back from that in a long time, and if it's not a long time, I think he is either he had armor or something, but he can't be alive. Why did he get sent like that? Why did he go through so much rubble and trees? Like the last time I seen something similar to this was like the purple hollow when Gojo obliterated everything. But why does it look like Naiwa just gave him such a disgusting look as if he's insulted? Like how dare you even come in my presence? And why are you even involved in these family matters? What is wrong with you? Know your place. But hold on. Hold on guys, I actually think this is all a build up for his character. Look, now hear me out. Jujutsu Kaisen is very well known for, you know, referencing things that they probably said earlier that will affect people of today. They are very good at making people eat their words, etc, etc. And there's a very common theme in underestimating Noritoshi Kamo specifically and Noritoshi Kamo realizing his power is not as good as it is. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I've never seen that so emphasized with a side character as much as Naruto Shikamo. Like, look, I feel like there's a strong, strong, strong sense of underestimation. And this is the similar thing that happened with Miwa. Like, where she felt like she was weak and everyone was saying she's weak and she called herself weak. And now in this position, you see that Kamo's calling himself weak. He's saying that he needs to improve, he's behind. And when you look at it, it's really, really similar to the Miwa situation. And it looks like Miwa were actually got an upgrade and obviously it's just by looks because we haven't actually seen what she's done but we could kind of tell oh, there's a different sense of aura to her now i'm gonna point out every time he's called himself weak or people have called him weak so example number one in the Mekamari situation, it has been emphasized that he has been weak and they can't do anything about it to save Mekamaru and the others. Obviously, that's what made them depressed and he was annoyed at himself that Mekamaru couldn't trust them to even carry out this task. Obviously, this made them upset and when they actually went to ambush Kenjaku, you can see what the result was. Another time he looked like he was inferior was when he was seeing Choso. He saw that he was using the blood move so efficiently and so effectively, yet he couldn't even do anything himself. His blood manipulation was weaker and he didn't have the poison to back it up as well. So he just felt overall inferior to Choso. Now, in the next form of disrespect, you can see that when Kenjaku basically said you're nothing, you cannot do anything, why are you even trying to fight me right now? This will not end well for you. So this is a constant underestimation of his character. And then afterwards, he was able to survive, go into the Cullen Games, and then he encountered Maki. Looking at Maki, he then realized how weak he was, how much everyone's progressed, and compared to him, it doesn't seem like he's been going through much. And now, again, this chapter, he kept emphasizing how fast Naiwa Zenin is. Like, even when Maki was fighting Naiwa, he, she wasn't saying how fast he is or how this and etc. etc. But she's also relative slash probably even faster than that. So when Kamo saw it, he just felt so overwhelmed with lack of speed upon himself. So now, that is when Naiwa Zenin punches him so fast that he doesn't even notice, he didn't even react and he was still even processing the fact that Naiwa was still alive after he done his attack that he didn't even realize he was even in front of him and now he's sent flying we have no idea what is going to happen now this was just a video just to go over where I feel the point that he was underestimated now do I feel like he's going to be able to bring it back I think he would be able to bring it back just due to the fact that the underestimation seems a bit much it seems like Gega Okutami is setting him up for something big and trivial because we haven't really seen how much potential we had we actually been seeing from even against Megami that he is a strong opponent that had never really used all his power or fought in a serious serious fight before well from what we've seen and now we have the opportunity to finally find that out if he's able to survive this attack and I hope he's not dead he better not be dead and everything he said in regards to the speed that he's lacking the power to stop people he's lacking the ability to be depended on everything is going to come into full circle and it's going to show when he, we see him in the later chapters that he is dependable he is fast enough to react to things and he is powerful enough to stop the most powerful of people 
And I think Naruto Shikamaru will have a big effect on Jujutsu Kaisen as a whole. I don't know how, but he will. Alright guys, thank you for watching this video. Leave a like, subscribe if you're new. And as I say to the new and old people that come and visit my channel, Jana.